Everybody, welcome to Live with Chaudhry. I'm here at Farmer Pack and I'm delighted to be joined by Eric and I have to look at his bag, this is Dan, from Biocor, who is CEO of Biocor. And Eric was actually an interviewee at Farmer Pack 2020 last February. So I'm catching up with him here at Farmer Pack this week in Paris. So Eric, bonjour, how are you my friend? I'm doing well, thank you, and you Rosen. It's lovely to see you again. So before we start looking at the booth and your products you've got here, how has the pandemic impacted you as a business and how have you coped? So, I mean, so first I'm very happy to, to see you again on site and see, I mean, many of our customers here. It's, it's new and it's good. Um, I think COVID overall has been obviously shaking a bit the, the environment, but for what we are doing at Biocorp, maybe it rose the opportunity to go into a, a fastest track on connected devices. So all in all, it's been uh, pretty, uh, pretty uh, soft COVID for us and, and opening quite a lot of opportunities. And one thing you've just said there, I mean, do you think that pharma companies have moved faster towards digitalization and looking at connected devices, whereas before they may have been a bit more conservative and hesitant to do, but the pandemic has forced them to move into digitalization quicker. Absolutely, I think the willingness was there before the COVID pandemic, but I think, yes, because of the, of the healthcare model and seeing a lot of patients that were stuck at home without being able to monitor some chronic condition, then you see the tools uh, that are available there and all the value they can provide. And, and suddenly that's, that raised a bit the interest from a commercial perspective that was already present from a technical perspective. But now the commercial franchise has seen more the direct opportunity and short-term opportunity that this device and solution could represent. Brilliant. So I know uh, when we met last year, you just launched the Malia. So how's the launch gone for you? So yes, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's really new for us and uh, we're very happy to, I mean, to have the first device being on market. So now we are present in Europe, we are present in Asia, we are opening up some new countries in, in South America and hopefully we want to be and we hope to be in the US by the end of this year or early next year. So, I mean, we've, uh, we've uh, progressed pretty, pretty well on, on that product and on that technology. The perception from the market is very positive, so we see a lot of, of patient and, and, uh, and, uh, and physician being very happy about get, I mean, the, the information they are getting from those devices. So for us it's new, but it's, it's really exciting and we are very excited to get into more and more countries. Fantastic. So uh, what other developments do you see then with the Malia going forward? So, What's pretty unique about these devices is that we have to continue to innovate and change uh, and, and, and work on those devices almost continuously. So we have to make it smaller, we have to make it cheaper, we have to make it uh, even more robust as we are moving forward. So that's the product, that's the first generation of the product. And, and Biocorp, I mean, is not stopping to, to innovate. That's our DNA and we are working very hard to make it even smaller, as you understood, and even cheaper. And I think that's, that's really the future of our industry. So, Basically here you see from that first device which is already on the market some, a couple of evolution that we have already scheduled for some of our customers and obviously as you can see those devices are, are way smaller, are slimmer and, and providing a better user experience and, and that's, I mean, that's a continuous work that we are doing at Biocorp. We never stop, we, all, we will never stop and, and, and obviously we are fueling a lot of, uh, of resources to continue that innovation. Uh, that in that industry is maybe even more uh, rapid that we can have in other type of drug delivery devices. Brilliant. Is there anything else that you're demonstrating here at the show this week? So we are presenting a new product, which is, I would say, a, a small evolution of the uh, Inj uh, device, which is a connected pre-filled syringes. But we got, um, I mean, a lot of demand from pharma company about the opportunity of connecting a, a safety uh, device. So basically, we have adapted the product and the concept to develop Ultra-J, so it's a product that we are, where we are not modifying anything on the primary container, but providing the connectivity options for uh, uh, ultra-safe device in that situation, so the BD uh, safety device. So that's a new, new type of solution, but let's say that we are leveraging the same type of recipes that we have leveraged in the past, so being as simple as possible for the patient, being as seamless experience as possible for patient and HCP and doing that on an industrial level. So meaning a, a cost of good and a transfer price at some point that could be used by pharma company on a global commercial launch. Brilliant. So in conclusion, where, how do you see the technology developing in terms of future therapeutics? So basically we've seen, obviously diabetes has been 
as being the first market, being very mature, where you get already some connectivity from blood glucose monitoring, and, and the missing part was a drug delivery component. So maturity of the market was already there, but we announced a new agreement this year, including with Merck on the on a, on a growth hormone deficiency side, showing that ev every chronic condition has almost the same issue of adherence, of engagement of patient, and there we can provide some very important value. So we are working towards additional partnership in that chronic, in those chronic condition. So GH and and uh, and obviously fertility and other type of product that are uh, in, in in pen injectors that include as well GLP-1 and other brands. So basically, we see a lot of application once you are in chronic condition and need to engage your patient on a daily basis. Brilliant. So there you go, people. If you're here at PharmaPak, visit stand D58. I can read it on the booth as I'm taking this film. But if you can't make it to the booth, um, Eric, how can they get more information about what you're doing at Biocorp? So you can contact us on our website, www.biocorp.fr. And uh, yes, all the team is, is present there. I'm sure you have your, our contact details, so feel free to reach out to us anytime. We'd be very happy to, to get back in touch. And hopefully seeing you physically at the at next conference. Uh, well, Eric, all I have to say, thank you very much. It's lovely to see you. Have a fantastic show and good luck with all the different products. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.